Yesterday, you were asked to draw a plant or animal that describes your personality nice and big on one of your pieces of large drawing paper. So all you needed to do was draw the shapes of that plant or animal. I'll hold mine up in pencil. Today, we're going to create our colorful collage papers. Uh, in the style of Eric Carle, so that we can then cut those pieces out and then glue them onto our planner animal. So think about what colors you might need. So for my turtle, I'll probably need lots of different uh, shades and mixtures of greens, uh, maybe some blues, and then for things like the eyes and toes, I might need uh, black and white, or maybe I could change it up and do some other uh, dark cool colors like purple. So I want to think about how I want to uh, address my color and I'll be collaging just my animal and then coloring in the background later on. You're welcome to collage the background as well um, but your focus will mainly be on the animal itself. Eric Carl was very interested in using bold, bright colors, uh, as he stated in the video when he was discussing his work. One way that we can do that is by blending uh, two colors on our coffee filters and adding a little bit of water uh, to get those colors to mix together. So here's an example of, I actually did this with kindergarten the other day. Uh, here's an example of my coffee filter after it has dried. Uh, I'm also gonna show you how you can add a little bit more interest by going back on top of your coffee filters and adding some additional colors and patterns to that uh, so that your collage papers have a little bit more interest in them. We're also going to use our scrap paper which I have not done yet, I'm going to show you in a minute, uh, and our oil pastels. And I'm gonna show you some reductive techniques where after we draw with the oil pastels, we actually scrape away some of the color, and then some additive techniques where we layer multiple colors on top of each other. And then once we have our papers completed, tomorrow we'll start the actual collage portion of this project. So let's get started. First, we'll start by creating our coffee filters. I like to start out by testing out two markers that are similar in color. So I'm gonna do yellow and green because I know that those will be the colors for my turtle. I like to start with the lighter color first so that I don't end up getting the darker color on the tip of the yellow. Make sure that you have a piece of scrap paper or a paper towel underneath your coffee filter because when you start adding water, that can bleed through to the surface of your workspace. Once you've added just a little bit of water to get those colors to spread out, set that coffee filter aside and then you can experiment again with either the same or different colors. Knowing that yellow and blue make green together, I chose to use yellow, green, and blue to create a little bit more um, interesting colors on my coffee filter. The coffee filter I'm working on now has had some time to dry, so I'm going over it with oil pastels and adding different patterns and colors on top. This will just make this piece of paper a little bit more interesting for when I decide to go back over it with collage. Feel free to add in contrasting colors like orange uh, when you have a lot of blue. And again, that'll just create more interest. For my oil pastel scrap paper, make sure that you are pressing pretty hard to fill in the whole space with your oil pastel. Take some time to overlap the colors to make new colors. Again, experimenting quite a bit and again, feel free to use some contrasting colors and really blend those colors together to get new colors. For the reductive aspect, you can get a sturdy material like some of your leftover materials from your robot work or a popsicle stick, and you can scratch away some of your oil pastel uh, markings. Now I'm just going over top with some different colors to create different lines and shapes so that my collage paper will be more interesting when I cut it out uh, for my final work. 
Once you are finished, go ahead and put your supplies away. Wait for your coffee filters to dry. You might not be able to finish those until tomorrow. Also feel free to experiment with some additional colors using your oil pastels on another piece of sketchbook paper. I only created two coffee filter mixtures, but you are welcome to do more. We're only going to use the coffee filters for this project, so you're free to use all of the coffee filters that you want to, especially if you plan on using some for your background.